Today we are at Bandito Brothers. We're in Los Angeles, California, and our whole effort here is really bootstrapping and starting up Primordial Motors and the Hack Rod movement. So our real mission today is let's take a car that was done the traditional way with sort of wizards of chrome molly, the guys who really understand how to make performance vehicles, and let's sort of rip it the same way we used to rip CDs, in atoms to bits, and then let's put it into a machine learning system that can try to generate millions or, or hundreds of millions of variations and see if we could grow or evolve a totally new approach. My name is Felix Holst and I'm head of design at Hackrod. Hackrod is the melding of the pioneer spirit of hot rodding, of garage built innovation that goes all the way back to the 40s. It's, it's hot rodding, it's home built, mixed with cutting edge technology, 21st century tools and the notion of, of, of hacking, taking stuff that, that already exists that somebody else has produced and modifying it, changing it to suit your own personality. So the idea of hack rod, it's, it's a 21st century version of hot rod as far as I'm concerned and that will drive everything that we do. Right after Henry Ford took a rich man's hobby and made it an everyman dream and we suddenly had a factory. Garages became hacker labs and people immediately started mashing things up. It used to be that you could keep all of the variables in your head. Products were simple enough and there were only so many choices for manufacturing and we learned really how to make anything and how to make it right. Now we've hit this weird edge where all those restraints have been removed. And now we can kind of do anything. So the day was about taking that conventional geometry, scanning it into the digital world and beginning to gather the hard data points that will allow us to then feed it into the magic that is Autodesk's Dreamcatcher. So we're doing what's called reality computing. We're using a laser that's basically looking at how far away the reflection is. The system also takes lots of photographs. Now we have the color, we have the reflectivity, we have those other things, and we're gonna kind of mash it up into a program. One's called Recap and one's called Memento that help you take the data from all that and turn it into something that we can now manipulate. And we're gonna ask the computer with a program called Dreamcatcher, which is a part of our research, to, to take those limitations and then start using infinite computing to generate lots of variations. What Dreamcatcher allows us to do is it allows us to grow iterations of structures at a complexity level that we've never been able to calculate. And not only that, it grows very, very quickly to show the different ways in which those elements can be held together to meet the structural needs, almost simultaneously. So you can flick through and see which ones are both aesthetically appealing and which ones meet structural needs. I'm a product designer by training, so in the old days you'd design a product and you'd spend a lot of your time building the product digitally. You'd make all the polygons or you'd make all the shapes. And once you finally got it built in the system, then you'd play what if. What if this, what if that. So if you think of a pyramid, it was like I spent a lot of time climbing up and then I could do some what ifing. But with this new approach, I can kind of get it right in and then I can spend all my time what ifing. So I can, I can have a lot more time and a lot more experimentation there. And I can kind of almost slide sliders and play and mash up. So it's a little bit more fluid. It's a new tool that will put in the hands of a designer more definite engineering solutions without the need for compromise. They can actually generate engineering solutions while they generate the concept. What we're generating now is a new kind of structural aesthetic which will pave the way for an entirely new aesthetic in car design, aircraft design, furniture design, you name it, right? What we're, what we're right at the cusp of is going to change the face of industrial design and product design the world over. So today we're experimenting with this idea of primordial motors. What if we could oversense the car? What if we could learn from it and actually grow a new car based on the sensing that we, that we find? What is the real spirit of that product? It's uncharted territory. It's absolutely a cutting edge research project. And the deeper we get into this, the more we realize how cutting edge it is. We're at that cusp of, of being able to make calculations that humans have never been able to make. And not only that, transfer those calculations into form and structures and objects that humans have never been able to make. And, and, and to wrap that up in a bitchin', high performance, personal, lightweight, simple form of transport is, is, is thrilling. And that's what today was about.